Hi and welcome to another mini lecture. Today's lecture is trigonometric functions and special angles. Problem type 1 radians. This is exactly like a previous one, just that the numbers are given in radians and we are still just looking at sines and cosine, not looking at the other four trig functions. So let me just quickly remind you that we had uh, circle situation and we have some angle now it's measured in radians we have the location here at x and y this is a unit circle so radius is one as you remember sine of theta was just y cosine of theta was x even though we don't need the other ones let me just mention it tangent of theta is y over x uh, <coughs> cosecant of theta is 1 over y and secant of theta is 1 over x cotangent of theta is x over y and of course we are not allowed to divide by 0 uh, <coughs> special triangles to remember uh, in radians so if this is pi over 4 this is radical 2 over 2 and this is radical 2 over 2 coordinate of this point in x and y if you wish is radical 2 over 2 and radical 2 over 2 the other triangle that we are interested in uh, pi third so if this is pi third, this point will be uh, one half and radical three over two. And the other side of the coin, if you are going to go at pi six, uh, excuse me, same two numbers except radical three over two is first and one half is next. So you essentially need to memorize one of them. <clears throat> and then we said two funny triangles. Uh, if you have angle zero, so we have to exaggerate zero so we see it. Uh, this point with coordinate one and zero, of course. And <clears throat> if your angle is like this, this angle is pi over 2 and the coordinate of this point is going to be 0 and 1 well let's just concentrate on these and the other cases I will explain when we come to it cosine of pi well the main challenge here is to figure out where is pi we have to remember where pi is so when we were talking about wrapping a rope around the circle remember zero here's pi and then we come back to two pi and so on so this is the point pi well what are the coordinates of the point pi you can see it's minus one and zero if this triangles confuse you just remember coordinate of the four quad four corners of the circle uh, if you want to make a triangle like the previous cases your triangle is that collapsed triangle we were drawing before at any rate this becomes minus 1 and 0 and this is your x and this is your y cosine of the angle is just x and our x is minus 1 and that's it of course you are best to memorize that cosine of pi is minus 1 and be quick with that sine of 3 pi over 2 so where is 3 pi over 2 3 or pi over 2 we have to remember 3 pi over 2 is here the coordinate of that x of it is 0 and y of it is minus 1 what is sine sine is y sine is y so we are at minus 1 Cosine of minus pi over 6. 
minus pi over 6 so minus means what minus we are going in this direction this is if I open this thing minus pi over 6 what triangle is it it's this type of a triangle is that right it is uh, either of these two triangles if you wish <coughs> now if this is your pi over 6 this side is going to be radical 3 over 2 this side is going to be 1 half but since going in the fourth quadrant is going to be minus 1 half the coordinate if you're after the coordinate is the radical 3 over 2 and minus 1 half what is cosine cosine is the x first one cosine is x and it becomes radical 3 over 2 again you might have learned this thing in high school slightly different arrangement their so-called uh, triangular version and also the so-called circular version each of them has its own advantages and disadvantages uh, put them next to each other and choose your best and uh, move accordingly sign up minus 2 pi third sign up minus 2 pi third where is minus 2 pi third minus 2 pi third we <coughs> minus means we are opening this way minus 2 pi third uh, will be somewhere here you can have a choice of triangles here the triangle I choose so this was minus 2 pi third what is left here is pi third so one of the triangles we had over there uh, in front of 30 degrees or pi over 6 was half because we are going to the left this becomes minus a half there this location becomes minus a half because we are going down this is also minus radical 3 over 2 so coordinate of this point overall becomes minus a half and minus radical 2 always double check if these quantities are supposed to be positive or negative sine was y quantity that was the definition of sine y quantity so it becomes minus radical 3 over 2 so uh, make sure you go through uh, the whole cycle of these type of questions when it asks uh, allows you for ask another go through them and time yourself so that you can answer each of these things under five seconds uh, repeat uh, over and over again until you are fast okay that's end of this uh, lecture until next time good luck and god bless